Look at that. That's, it's just cake down there. First I wash this thing, and then there's still so many things i got to clean up. It's like I did nothing. I actually might have the right tool for this. This is, like, really weird, because I usually have the wrong tool that kind of works. Welcome back to Robbie's Hobbies. Today we're working on the Gremlin some more. Well, with me having a very limited budget because I'm still going to school and working part-time, this engine build is going to end up being more of a refresh of this engine more than a build, so hopefully things work out the pl way I plan it, but it should still be plenty of power for what this car would need, but it's going to be pretty much bone bare bones stock and it's going to have the still the two barrel carburetor and we're not even going to do anything with the pistons we're just going to put fresh bearings in and see how this engine does so and uh we can uh go from there no further ado let's get started on this car Well guys, we're back to her again. Finally, I think I have all my bearings. And I don't mean that metaphorically. I mean literally, I think I have all my bearings. Um, ones are the right size is what I'm getting at. Uh, should be the right ones according to what I could read off the old ones. There are some that were undersized and the rest look like they were uh, stock. So. We'll see. But yeah, so with that. Alright, well, I finally got some cam bearings. That was my biggest delay. I was waiting on cam bearings for a good couple weeks here, and uh, well, some guy had some online that I bought from eBay. I was waiting for Summit, but they just didn't have any, and every time uh, the ship, they were like, they kept pushing back the ship date, so wasn't worth my time, basically. I figured, I mean, eventually I'd probably get them from Summit. And Summit's been very good. But yeah, it, I don't, it's hard to say when I'll actually get those cam bearings from them. So I ordered some used ones, which are not used. Some older stock bearings that are uh, a, a little dirty, box is dusty. And um, the bearings have a little bit of rust on the, along the outer edge. Uh, but other than that, that's about it. Lenny, stop moving the camera. They don't need vibration. Thanks, Toby. But yeah. So yeah, for no further ado, we're gonna... See if these bearings work. I would love to get these in, because if they're right, I have very little left to... to get this thing back together. That would be awesome. So. I'm gonna pop all these main caps off and whatnot, and yeah, let me get, let me just get the impact. Let's just zip them off. Let's get this rotating assembly officially all the way apart. Get you guys a good look in what's inside here. Yeah, some of this I've already taken apart, most of it I have not. So. I'm sorry for the messy floor, guys. I'm trying, 
I got like no space for all the stuff I got going on in here. I barely have room for this. Tear down. If I didn't park anything in this garage, I could do it, but wife needs a spot to park her car. So. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna break these all loose first with a breaker bar. What, Leonard, you're the furnace kick in? I feel like my floor right now is such a mess, it looks like a where's a wall though with uh, you gotta find the tools or parts though. So. It's not good. It's not good. Would not recommend. Oh Jesus! He's torqued down to infinity and beyond? Jeepers. Oh. Alright, I'll come back to this. I'm having an issue with, uh, some reason the socket don't want to slide on all these. If I had a way to, put, if I had a lathe here and could machine this down, I would, because this is sad. Well, I'm not sure what kind of wizardry I'm seeing here, but I have a deep well half inch. I think it's because it's a six point socket that only fits on, like, Every other bolt or nut. Well, this 12 point, no problem. I guess it has a thinner wall, but man, that's. It doesn't really look like it. This fits on there just fine. This doesn't fit very well. So I'm gonna have to use a 12 point, even though all my life lesson says not to if you can help it. So, whatever. I guess if it works better, it, it works better. I don't know. For example, that one don't fit on there. That one fits. That one mostly fits. Well, pizza. All right, here's the best example. It gets on the edge. Don't fit. Can't get it. This one, no problem. Oh wait, this barely. Take her. Twelve point fits beautifully. I whatever. Don't ask questions. If it works, it works. I don't. Know. I was about to have a heyday though. Impacts don't fit on any of these at all, so you know, thick wall. That's fine. I suppose. Keep going. dismantle everything I'll show you one last thing uh, notice on two and seven the end caps are whiter on the base all of them are matching except for two and seven I don't get that is that normal? It's on both sides are they're just like that. Look at that. I don't know. Never seen anything like that. Have those been two and seven been end caps been replaced? Connecting rods replaced or something? I don't know. You guys let me know if you know why they got that. Everything else is matches perfectly. Oh yeah. I don't know. Let me know. Not what I really wanted to do, but I don't have a whole lot of options. Alrighty. Well, things don't look ter terrible. That 
pop that bearing out. There's not as much wear of copper. That's pretty low miles, I feel like. This was the one I looked at, and this one looked pretty heavy. You know? Well, you guys let me know what you think. Most of this looks pretty good to me. Me being cheap, I'm looking at these main bearings, and they look like they're brand new still. Makes me regret spending them money on them because they were the most expensive by far. The connecting rod and cam bearings were half the price of what these were alone. So that's cool. I mean, yeah. Connecting rod, yeah, definitely. Play some main bearings, though. They actually look pretty good. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Because I already bought new ones. So I probably should just put them in. Stop thinking about it. But I could send them back. Nope, nope, don't do that. Well, that wrist pin is nice and tight. Well, not super tight, just gets a little tight up there. It's a little out of its comfort zone. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that, I guess. I don't know. Well, I did bungee cords to keep the connecting rods up because I didn't want to pull out the pistons because I don't feel like I don't have anything to compress the rings and I don't feel like messing that all up. So let's not uh, try to go too in depth if we can help it. But so I've been fussing around trying to get cam bearings out and I uh, got the very end one. I'm missing parts, so I don't think I can quite do the rest of these for now. I'm going to have to wait a little bit, unfortunately. So, because this was a, a bit of a stretch to get this one out. And, I don't know, to install I would definitely, I feel like it would be a little bit incorrect. But, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anywho, so I'm going to call it quits for that. I might I'd really like to try out some of these new bearings and make sure I got the right ones. Maybe we'll start on that. Oh, let's see here. Well, since I uh, can't work on my cam bearings like I really planned, I'm going to do some main bearings. Make sure I got those at least right. Make sure. I don't know if there's an up, upper or lower. Or I don't think there is. These ones, the old ones are 10,000 Oversized, underset I don't remember. One of the, they're they're ten thousands off from stock. I don't remember which way it is. Brain hurts after a long day today. Um, so I got these all relatively cleaned up, wiped them down, and then hit them. Hit. I got a cloth and uh, hit some brake clean and wiped out all the journals, the main journals for now, and the same with the caps too. So. I'm going to throw some bearings in here and see how they measure. I don't know what I'm doing. Remembering that I didn't clean the crank at all, so probably should do that before I set them in, set that in here. I always got all the main bearings back in. I'm just gonna do those for now. I don't know. I don't know if I have to do all the connecting rods with it all at once. I don't think I do. I'll get the other bearings and the caps on, and I'll get you back. Oh, uh, I'm working on trying to clean this up a little bit. Um, looks pretty good though, so nothing crazy, nothing, no scoring or anything like that. The nothing that makes me concerned, you know, just like just staining per se. It all feels real, rather smooth. I'm gonna try to clean up some of this best I can though, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. 
I know not to use anything too crazy. It's just basically gonna be like a cloth, but they, yeah. We'll see what we can do. Got it looking pretty nice. I think it looks really good now. Awesome. So I'm gonna throw that in there and uh, check at least one bearing tonight. I'm getting really tired now. So I think I'll just do that. I'll set it, set her back in, and uh, so I can get keep the dust up from getting in this stuff at least. So that'd be nice. Let's go. We have a oh, crank back in. Let me set the bear, um, caps back on. set these on here for now I guess because I think I'm just going to check. Oh, I might just do two bearings. Something. Let's do one and four. I like that. Sweet. I need to find some plastic gauge and I'm going to put it in one and four for now. Make sure I got at least somewhat close here. Oh, I'm going to change my mind again. We're gonna do all the main bearings. Just do it quick. It ain't gonna take that long anyways. I got time. Might as well. Let's check them all quick. See, hopefully they read right. That'd be sweet. Well, should be pretty dang close. Got them all hand tightened. Um, torque specs say 100 or 95 to 105. So I'm gonna shoot in the middle, 100 foot pounds. See how this goes. Hopefully, hopefully we got the right thing. That'd be nice. Okay. Voila, they're torqued. Pop two of them for now. See how it's going. Alright, guys, Let's see if we got this. I really hope I do you got the right stuff. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty close. According to this cap, about. Somewhere between 15 or one and a half thousandths to two thousandths. So that's, that's a fairly tight gap. I would say it's closer to two thousandths. So yeah, that looks pretty good there. I'm very happy with that. Two thousand sounds pretty awesome. I think that's about. I think it's two to two and a half thousandths is what you're supposed to have. Oh yeah, about two thousands. That's some pretty tight clearances if I say so myself. That is awesome. Let you guys get a peek. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call it for the night. <laughs> so yeah, not much of it's left there, but I'll try to do this without it much clear. It's pretty close to that two thousands. That's pretty good. Over here. It's really close to that two thousands. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's right. I'll check the other ones another time, not tonight, I'm getting tired, but that's looking awesome. Might actually have the right bearings for that, so that's fantastic news, because they weren't cheap, so I didn't want to lose out on that or whatever, that would be bad. Alright, cool. We'll call it for now and pick it up tomorrow. Well, we're back again, got Leonard out here in the garage with me. Hey buddy. We're checking bearing clearances and uh, 
pulled the rest of the caps off, and they look great. For their, this one's a little tighter, but everything else is like right around that two thousandths mark, which is exactly what um I can find the AMC recommends for an oil clearance. So, so that one's a little tight. I might recheck that one again. Well, I'll be rechecking them all, I guess, anyways. But, but that one also snapped down when I was tightening it. So, I must not have it quite lined up when I first. Starting to tight, started started to tightening it up at least. So, yeah, it really looks fantastic. Other than that, so that's awesome. Um, then I'll get started on my uh, cam bearings. Awesome. Alrighty, guys, we're back to it. Uh, I got my bearings checked, and they're all at two thousandths of a gap. So perfect. I love it. That is what they called for. That's what they hit. I I'm, couldn't be happier, so that is awesome. Even this one came out to actually 2,000, so I must have messed it up on the torque and down. Anywho, they're all good. Main bearings are awesome. So I'm going to pull this out, and let's get started on those cam bearings finally. That would be nice. Oh. Now, I I got the number three adapter for this cam bearing tool that I needed. Now we should have everything to make this come apart. I'm gonna go for the second bearing out of here from the from the front of the engine. Second from the front. Cool. Now I gotta get that out, I guess. Well, this is working. I don't really like doing this, per se. I don't, not the cam bearings. It makes me nervous a little bit, at least. If I can get my hand down here. There we go. Perfect. I really don't look that all that bad. Hmm. Neat. That's cool. Try to go back one. Oil passages are at like a one to two o'clock, like a one thirty. Pretty dang close to like a one thirty position from the front. It's gonna be important. The oil, I get those oil passages relined up after I get this all done. They all look the same spot per se. So I got one left. I'm going to knock that one out quick and we'll get back with it to installing. Well, I am just about ready to get these bear cam bearings installed and got everything cleaned out. Got the old bearings out, cleaned up the ports or whatever. Journals? Journals. That's a better term for it. And yeah, so my cam bearings, those are... Uh, Unfortunately, these are some uh, old ones someone had on a shelf. Every, everywhere 
is out of these bearings. I don't get it. I don't know why. And yeah, so I have these bearings that were very dirty and I don't know if you can see, but they have like even rust spots on them even a little bit. This one's not as bad. The other one had a little bit bigger spot than this. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna do the best I can. Since it's the backside, I'm not as concerned, but maybe polish it a little bit, knock off some of that. Sure. About all I can do. And then, and then like I said, they're d dusty, so wipe, I'm spraying them down with brake clean and wiping them down too before install. Beautiful. I don't know. But yeah, I gotta do all that, I guess. And then we can install these things. Unfortunately, I have to use these bearings that are have rust spots on the backside, not the inside. Because on the inside, I don't think I could. I would use these. Yeah, they're dirty. At least they're new. But they are. At least now I have all sealed power bearings. I guess that's really what I was hoping to go for. But we'll see if it's worth it. I think that one's got a pretty big rust spot. It's not nothing crazy. Can barely feel it, but it's there. I get these cleaned up and we'll get back to it. Well, I think I'm ready. Got the bearings pretty well cleaned up here. And yeah. We'll look at these hand tight, I guess. Alright. We got our oil journal there. I think we are ready. So I got to get this about a 130 to about 2 o'clock position facing this end. And hopefully we can get this to work. Got everything as clean as I can get. This bearing was probably the worst of them all. Had probably the most rust stains on it. So that's nice. This feels very nerve-wracking for just putting in bearings. All right. Let's see if I can line this up. Yeah, this is nerve-wracking. I don't like this. <laughs> sure. I gotta stop overthinking it. It looks right. I don't see why not. Let's send it home. Still needs to go a little more. That looks great. I think that needs to go in just a little more. A little bit. Not by much. Oh, I don't know. I think that's a winner. Awesome. First one's in. We'll see how the rest of this goes. I notice if I line that up with the with one of the four grooves, it makes it a lot easier to tell where I'm actually at. So we'll do that. That's pretty good. Awesome. So yeah, it's about like that in there. So we'll get her get this one in there. It looks good so far. No complaints. I'm getting on the short game. I 
think that looks pretty good so far. I look pretty good. Consistently uh, in line. <laughs> Better than I thought it was going to look, so that's awesome. Let's get this last one in, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, quick inspection. That looks good there. You know, I think that's good. Wow. I don't know, I guess. It looks like the thing. Sure. <laughs> I hope that's right. <laughs> now I wish I did this a little differently, but that's uh, kind of why I'm doing this, because I need to learn. Well, all right. It looks good. I don't know for sure if it's good, but it looks good. So I'm going to have to take that as a win. Well, guys, well, tell me what you think. Look pretty lined up. I'd say so. Look pretty lined up to me. I think that'll win. I think I'll take that as a, the win. Awesome. Finally, that's uh, the one I was fearing the most. And it's over. You got through it. Awesome. Well, I we got two of the five sets in. Nice cam bearings, all nice and shiny down there. New main bearings that are correct. The right tolerances. So I get the can uh, connecting rods and we're there. Awesome. Hopefully this works out. If those are good, we can start assembly. All right, getting near the end here. I got two end caps cleaned up, so I didn't want to feel like committing to all eight if, if two are not even going to be remotely close. So I already forgot where I was left off. Hey, it's right there. Yeah. So I got plastic gauge underneath these. Check these two out. Plastic gauge um, range is supposed to be anywhere from a thousand to two and a half thousandths of clearance. So that's a pretty big range. So, well, not pretty big, you know. It's less than like half of a hair's thickness, I guess, but still. If this is it, I'm going to be so relieved because I shouldn't need too much more for parts after this. That one's coming. Alright. How about you? You want to play fear? Oh, no you don't. There it went. Well, that's not great. That can't be good. I got to double check some stuff, but... That's showing that it's bigger than three thousandths of gap, which is a lot, a lot. Huh. Interesting. Let me look at this some more and I'll get back to you. Well, I'm getting pretty close. I got my cam bearing all, oh, cam all cleaned up. So I'm gonna drench that in oil here and install that so I can keep that off my bench and keep it cleaner than it laying around here. So, I don't know. Do it this way, I guess.
feels awfully tight. Now I'm worried that one of the bearings may not be perfectly lined up. Alright, that feels better now. Maybe just needed to work in there. Feels awfully tight, but I mean they're new bearings, so. I think I'll pour some oil down here so it goes into the lubricating system or whatnot. I don't know what I'm doing. It just seems right, so I'm gonna do it. I did I did get oil down into all the bearings from up above, so that's nice. Just pour it in there. Got a bunch of oil in here. Keep things from Rusting out or whatnot. Don't know if it's enough, but we'll call it good for there. Well, guys, uh, I so I had to order in ten thousandths undersized bearings. And they finally came in. I'm finally testing them out. Um, I did one test fit of a single one I ordered from the parts store in town, and that one worked. So I wanted to make sure that I did check one over here that was good, and then. Uh, I just got these ones done. Yeah, it pulls off nice. And that looks like a good gap. I like that. Let's see if this one pulls off nice. Oh yeah, perfect. Cool. That looks good too. Grab my little piece of paper. That looks awesome. That's right around two thousandths of gap there. That one's right around two as well. Almost a little less than, but that's pretty close to two. I'll say that's two for ease of mind. <laughs> but yeah, everything looks awesome. So I want to check the rest of these and assemble as I go. And yeah, we'll just keep going. Get near the end. Awesome. Guys, everything's looking great. I actually am very happy with all this. Um, got them all should be torqued, connecting rod wise. And then I just got to do the main bearing caps and uh, I should have a full rotating assembly again, which is awesome. Rotate that. One, two, five, and six are good. Awesome. Connecting rods are done. And the bearing, all clearances were right around that two thousandths. Every once in a while we get one that was around more closer to one and a half thousandths. Had one that a part of it went up to two and a half thousandths, but that is pretty awesome. That's very consistent. I am very happy with that. That's awesome. So connecting rods are done. Get the rest of this together and I'll be set. Awesome, I got everything pretty well lubricated. Just gotta get it together. Doesn't get this far. Oh man, it's so nice. That means I have a full rotating assembly. That is fantastic news, guys. I am beyond thrilled. This is great. Oh, it's gonna spit my mouth in it. I tried to lubricate it, but look at that.
Fantastic news. Oh, that's so good. I think I'm gonna go a little lunch break in and I'm gonna have to start assembling. This is great. We made it, guys. Turn junk into useful stuff. So that I'm really good at it. Awesome. That's a win. I got to put my old oil pickup back on. If I don't put an oil pickup on, that'd be a little hard to get oil pressure. But that's that's it. These are good time cover, time chain set up. That'll be fun. I'll probably double check my connecting rods one more time after lunch and that's it. Fantastic, fantastic, awesome. So, starting to finally get the stuff all assembled. Here I got a brand new timing chain for this. Must be the right one. It does not really have much for wiggle room, so. Oh, farts. I forgot I need to line this stuff. Leonard's not happy with my performance. Like that. Let's see how that coal set looks. That's not right. So I'm gonna get this lined up and I'll be back. Looks like I got it now. Got it lined up. I was off a tooth, so that's, that makes more sense. So looks pretty good now. Let's go get the slid back and get the rest of the stuff installed. Well guys, I actually struggled with this quite a bit yesterday. It's actually a new day now, because uh, I just I was, felt like I was missing bolts. Couldn't figure out how all this stuff lines up. I couldn't figure out this bracket. Could not figure out anything. And then I had a hard time getting the seal in. But, should be good now. I think I'm missing one bolt, but I'm just stealing one from the pulley off the front of this for now. And we'll make it do, make work, make, it, make do with what we have. Yeah. So, got this all lubricated up, painted. This thing was just filled with mud. Got the oil, the seal oiled. This needs to be torqued down to 90 foot pounds. This thing is just a struggle just to get the front part done. Oh, that's not what I want. Stop rotating. That'd be like cool. There we go. Oh, no. That rotates too nicely. Oh, well, I got it torqued. A little fighting, but got it. So that's good. So that's set. 
vibration dampener set to 90 foot pounds. Oh, I like how he's getting most of this together so I can, when I need to, I'm gonna pull that back off and try that or something, but, um, he's on to the next thing. That needs a set and cure and that should be good. Awesome. With the rotating assembly at least all together once again, we're going to uh, call it here. Next episode, we're going to be uh, working on getting the heads re-lapped and uh, getting, doing that for the first time because I've never done that before. Hopefully all that works out and yeah, uh, otherwise that's all we got planned. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later. Take your easy. Thank you.